to say something about my role. It's, uh, this is a sentence that you do not very often hear from people in Washington, but it's really important not to exaggerate how important I was in the scheme of things. <laughs> and, and I think one of the big ways that, in fact, um, history gets miswritten is that people inevitably who talk about these things always end up overstating what their own role was. Now, my role was so very small that even if I overstate it, I'll still be, on the, be able to be considerably modest about it. But um, So I, with that caveat, uh, when the president delivered the Axis of Evil speech, it was not, it, it was not because I told him to do it. It was not because any speechwriter told him to do it. We work for him. Uh, he gives us the broad outlines of what he wants to say, and we then help him to say it as effectively, as memorably, as persuasively as we can. Uh, and, um, and if you broadly disagree with what he's doing, then it's your job to go, but it's not your job not to deliver it. I mean, that's, it's his administration. It never occurred to me, however, when the president made the decision to speak so strongly, in particular about the Iranian piece, uh, which was a surprise to me. I didn't think he would do it. But when he made that decision to go ahead and, and to do it and actually to name Iran as one of the countries he was concerned about, it never occurred to me that you would do such strong language without having a clear plan in mind about what you intended to do. And I, I, I would agree. I mean, to speak, to use strong language where you don't have a strong plan is always a reckless mistake. And when you look back on what our policy toward Iran has been over the past half dozen years, it probably was a mistake to speak so forcefully because the United States looks ineffective. Uh, we, have said some, we, have, we said in 2002 that an Iranian nuclear weapon was absolutely unacceptable, and here we are in 2008, pretty close to a decision to accept it. And uh, that looks, that's humiliating, that we should not have, we should, we should either, we should have avoided one, we should have, we should have chosen different words or match our policy to our words.